Hey guys and welcome to East Coast Brewing and Barbecue. Today we are going to be restoring an old vintage smoker I found on a classified ads. Now uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the smoker, show you what it's about right now, and what we're going to do with it, and then I'm going to show you the finished product once we're finished restoring it, burning it in, seasoning it, and all that kind of stuff. So let's go take a look at this smoker. Alright guys, there it is. Now this might get a little shaky as I give you the tour, but just a heads up, uh, like I said, I got this on a classifieds ad, and uh, I think the guy said he paid for it about 850 bucks when he bought it, and uh, he was asking 300 and I asked him if he'd take 250 he said sure. So man, I think I got a steal of a deal on this thing. But anyways, it's not, it doesn't need like a full restore, but it does, uh, it hasn't been used in a lot of years, and you can kind of tell. So I'll give you a little bit of a tour of it here, and uh, We'll go from there. Now, the cool thing about this is it's made from 3.8 steel. So this thing is a tank. And it'll, if, you know, if I take care of it, it'll probably outlast me. So it's got a new temperature gauge put on it here. So that's pretty cool. It's got a metal handle. I'm not gonna have to do much with that. This stuff's all pretty good. It's got 1 8 on the end, but that'll be okay. Now she's got a little bit of rust inside it's got to be all cleaned out lots of creosote in there you can kind of see that in there right really really well built over these grates are awesome now it's a reverse flow smoker so you know smoke comes in from your firebox and there's a heat plate all the way along to the end down in here and then smoke comes up and boom out through the chimney now this chimney is also th 3 8 so it's solid now there's no damper on the chimney I don't think that's really gonna make a difference I'm hoping it doesn't uh, make a difference for heat management but anyways it's really well built like I said it's got these removable grates really well built one of the cool features is check these out these are old cartwheels from a from a warehouse like from way back in the day so those are pretty cool I mean those things are solid those things are gonna last forever but as you can see quite a bit of rust here now the firebox it's got quite a bit of rust all up in here I checked there's it's not rusted through or anything it's just surface rust so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this all up we're gonna get all the rust off of it I'm gonna clean out all the creosote out of here and we're gonna give it a paint job we're gonna use some high temp paint give it a nice paint job and then we're going to burn it in and then we're going to season it as well i'll give you a tour here of the firebox this needs a little bit of work this firebox it's a huge firebox as well so there we go know, lighting back here is kind of oh that's not too bad so here we go so huge firebox so that's going to be pretty good now this damper it's it's kind of screwed i'm going to have to it's it's got it's it's warped so you can't even open or close it. So it's it's pretty warped. So I'm gonna have to take that apart and uh, either get a new one made or maybe what I'll do is I'll try and actually straighten it out and see what happens. You've got these extra holes here. Now these don't have a damper on them. So I'm hoping that I don't have too much trouble maintaining heat. But uh, you know what, time will tell. When I go to burn it in and, and season it, I'll be able to adjust some of the uh, the settings on with the damper here and just see if we can maintain some uh, some temperatures and see what happens. So like I said, quite a bit of rust on here. We'll get that all cleaned up. So this hasn't been used in a number of years, so I'm looking forward to bringing it back to life. So on the next video here, we're gonna get started on de-rusting it and painting it. So I'll be back to show you that here shortly. Okay, now we're ready to start de-rusting this barbecue pit, smoker pit. So we're gonna use this here start de-rusting all along the outside and then I pick this thing up right here and uh, we're going to use that to get up all underneath here and get some of that creosote out so we're going to probably use this mostly on the inside but I'm going to take these grates out we're going to get those all cleaned up we're going to get this rust and everything off of here all the rust up underneath there and then once we're done we're going to give her a good paint job with this high temp paint right there I've got a few cans of it so Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll do it, but I'm pretty sure it will. So I'm going to go ahead and start this, and then I will be back to show you guys what it looks like after I get it all cleaned up. 
All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I filmed the uh, removal of the rust and uh, I got it all off there. And what happened was it was actually starting to get pretty dark out. So um, I checked the footage and it was actually a little bit too dark. So it actually turned out pretty crappy. So I'm not going to be able to show you what it looked like after I put the or after I took the rust off. But I did put the coat of paint on. So we're going to go check that out and I'll show you guys that right on. All right, there it is with a fresh coat of paint. It's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, it even did the chimney. Um, I did the firebox, the wheels. So here's what she looks like. I was able to get all the crease out out of it. So it's looking pretty good. Still a little bit of rust on the uh, on the grates there, but that's okay. Because um, once we season it, that'll all be good. I did clean them all off. And uh, I used the shop vac actually to get all of the creosote as it fell down. I scooped it all up and I got it nice and clean. So next step, we're going to actually uh, season this with, uh, with oil. And so I'll show you guys that here uh, shortly and we'll burn it all in. Which is also going to help the uh, paint set uh, when we're seasoning the inside as well. So we'll be going through that as well. Here's the firebox. I could have actually, you know, I could have taken that wire brush a little bit better on here. It's not a bad paint job. What's happening here is it actually is a little bit rough. So I didn't really notice until after the paint dried that it's kind of rough. But you know what I might do is uh, give it another coat of paint and uh, that might do it. So we'll see. It still looks pretty good though. A lot better than it was. Now here's the firebox. It's looking all right. Hey, there you go. Now this damper, you know what? It's still not 100%, but I was able to straighten it out so that it actually moves. So it actually moves pretty good. Just like that. But it's still got a couple of holes in here. So I'm hoping that it'll actually maintain uh, temperature. But we'll know when we go to season it. So there we go. And yeah, looking pretty good. A lot better than it did. So I'll be back to show you the seasoning process here shortly. Okay, time to season her up. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray down the entire inside with uh, cooking spray or oil or whatever. We're even going to do the grates and even the firebox. So I'm going to get started on this and get her all sprayed down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the uh, smoker. And we're going to use probably, uh, we're going to use oak and uh, maple. And we're going to try and keep it at around 225, 235, even maybe even 250 would be fine for the next four hours. We're going to go four hours. I've been seeing a lot of guys have been seasoning their smokers anywhere from around three hours to six hours. So I'm thinking, you know what, if we go about four hours, it should be good. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started spraying her down with oil all on the inside. Okay guys, we got our torch ready. I've got some lump charcoal already fired up in there. Or not fired up, uh, built up in there. So we're just going to get that lump charcoal good and hot. And then once this lump charcoal is all going, then we're going to actually put uh, a couple of logs on there. Some maple and some apple wood. And then... Uh, yeah, we're going to maintain some heat. Now I'm going to show you guys through the process here to see uh, how things are going. And then when everything's done, I'll show you that as well. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our coals going. I just threw a couple of logs in there just to get her fired up. We'll get a nice coal base going and we'll keep on adding to it. And then once we get this thing uh, under control, we're going to try and maintain that heat around that 225 to 250-ish range. All right, we'll be back. All right, we've been into this for about three hours, and she is sitting steady at um, around 220, 225-ish. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. You can see she's getting a little greasy on the outside here. You can see a lot of that grease is coming down off of the, uh, the inside of the door where we sprayed it, but that's okay. That's no big deal. And uh, the fire, you know what I realized about this, this smoker here? Like I said, this is the first time I've fired it up. And uh, it maintains heat really good with the dampers, actually. You know, that was one of the things I was worried about with them not working really good. But this thing actually holds a steady temperature like you wouldn't believe. It's really good. But uh, one thing I did learn is that you have to have a pretty decent sized freaking coal base in order to maintain a good uh, a good heat. So that's, that's one thing we're going to have to make sure we... Uh, you know pay attention to when we fire it up to actually cook some ribs or whatever so all right 
I'll be back to show you the uh, finished seasoning when we're done. Okay guys, she's been four and a half hours and this guy is seasoned. It's still sitting at around just under 200, but check this out. Look at that, nice gleaming black. It's nice and seasoned everywhere. It's looking pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this fire just burn itself out and finish seasoning. That's it. Now she's ready to cook on. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And we'll be uh, back to show you some cooking on this thing. I think we're going to do ribs on this thing the next time. So thanks for watching. Cheers.